Oh yeah, here it is. What is that? Hold on. It was right behind my cabin. What the heck is this? What? What in the world? What does that mean? Does it Oh my god. What is this? I want to know. I want to know. Ever since the Western update dropped, a strange sort of puzzle appeared in the lobby along with it. You can find it right behind a bunch of trees. If you follow this sign and keep going straight then, you'll get to find it. A good amount of people know about this strange thing in the lobby. But what if it has a deeper meaning? So that's what I'm about to talk about here in a second. So sit back and grab your notes because this might be an interesting one. Oh, right. Before I say anything in this video, this is only what I think about this whole topic. None of this is confirmed. I could be right just like I could be wrong about all of this. Only time will tell. With that out of the way, let's go with the theory. To start off, I've been thinking that maybe, and just maybe, there could be some sort of hidden or possible limited weapon behind this puzzle. Why do I think this? Well, the reason I think it could be limited is because everyone behind the developing of this game is very secretive about this. Not even I knew about it and heck, I'm a tester. Why else would they hide it or not even talk about it when it was added into the announcements or even the update log? Perhaps there's something that is worth the time? That is my guess. If it's a hard puzzle to solve, anyone has the same fair chance of solving it. But that's what I just think, it could possibly be something else instead. But here's the second reason, and this one might make a lot of sense. In the update log, Anthony mentioned they added 34 new obtainable weapons. So if we count all of the weapons that we got on this update, we got 21 weapons in the permanent crate. We got 9 weapons in the limited time chest, that's 30. Then we have the code knife, the cactus, and the rare drop. That makes it 33. Then where's the last one to make it 34? We shouldn't count the new weapon for the mods, the banhammer, because it's exclusive for the mods only. There's no way us normal players could get this. And if we take a look back at what Anthony said, he said added 34 new obtainable weapons. Keyword, obtainable. So the banhammer doesn't count if that's the case. And if we're correct with that, then where's the last weapon to make it 34? Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's nothing else in the shop to buy. Or anything else mentioned in the announcement. That's what makes me think that we could get a weapon out of this difficult puzzle. Is it limited? I don't know. It would be cool if it was, but we have no clue. So many questions, not enough answers. Now, how to solve this puzzle? <laughs> I don't know. I wish I knew, but this may require a lot of help from everyone in the community, if this even has a solution to start with. It just doesn't make sense to me why would they add something without a solution. Like wouldn't that be wasting people's time? I, I don't think that would be cool, I don't think they would do that. Everyone I know haven't had any luck at the moment with this, so it's definitely not as easy as it may seem. And yeah, but anyways, that is everything I wanted to talk about regarding this topic. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's actually a limited weapon? Or maybe just a normal secret weapon or something else? Let us know in the comments. And hopefully one day we'll have the answer to this weird structure in the lobby. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys in the next one. See ya!